You'll have three minutes. Two and a half minutes to switch the security profile. 30 seconds to escape through the service hatch. Remember, conserve oxygen. Don't move a muscle if you don't have to. I've done a lot of underwater work, and Chris and I were on edge of tomorrow. We were shooting the underwater sequence, and already at that time, Chris and I were talking about mission. And I said, you know, I've never done an extended underwater sequence. How can we make a really long sequence for an audience and have them experience what it's like holding your breath for that period of time? When Jim Bissell presented us with the Taurus, the set filled with water, Tom reacted to that and said, that's great. We can do something really exciting with this environment. I just came up with this idea that it could be really interesting. If we put them in a sort of a wash tub, and then there's these robotic arms that are going around that interfere with it. Imagine Mission Impossible 1, where Ethan is hanging by a thread. Now remove the thread and don't allow him to breathe. You know, we're always trying to create something that hasn't been done before, which is very difficult. So looking for those little unique moments that create that difference. No oxygen tanks. Most of the work that's done in the film is done in camera and is practical, but there was literally no way for us to shoot that sequence in a real environment. And so we animated the entire sequence. It's called a previs. We used the previs to help understand the sections that we can film Tom underwater in. It was an incredibly complex process of designing these shots and, and figuring out how to film them so that the audience is holding their breath and they feel intensely claustrophobic in that scene. Underwater photography is extraordinarily difficult and time-consuming. It's dangerous, it's slow, it's very exhausting. You move differently. You act differently, don't breathe. We realized very quickly that Tom was going to have to be holding his breath for a very long time. Further compounding that was he would be moving. So we baked that into the sequence. We made that the central threat that physical activity underwater equals death. Having had the chance to read the script, look at the previs, I knew that I had in front of me one of the most complex, if not the most complex, underwater sequence I've ever been involved with in my career. So I have to hold my breath for three minutes. You can do that. Well, the thing you're overlooking is the physical exertion. The more you exert yourself, the faster you consume oxygen. Tom invited me to be trained by Kirk Kroc, who is a deep diver instructor, which has been incredible. Normally, in underwater sequences, people hold their breath for 10 seconds, 15 seconds max. So I had to prove to everyone that it was actually safe and spend time with the safety guys and the safety officers to show them, look, not only is it safe, it's better than I know how to hold my breath because I'm going to be very relaxed. No one's going to have to rush in. No one has to panic. Basically, what I'm doing is taking Tom and Rebecca through a breath hold special operations program. It's a program that I've designed for militaries. And what we're really trying to do is we're developing their ability to hold their breath under extreme conditions. You have to overtrain for a sequence. We are doing up to six and a half minute breath holds. We started breath hold. Tom's very comfortable underwater and uh, he likes to uh, challenge the crew by staying under longer than he should on a breath hold and get us all worried. Let's not freak people out too much. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, three. Tom and Rebecca as students were amazing. It was a pretty great experience to see them actually grow and get better all the time. We just keep a really calm manner on the set and we make it like this sort of zen state which keeps everyone calm and all their heart rates down so we can go for the longest possible take. That gave us an incredible amount of control. I could put Tom underwater and I could point the camera at him for three minutes and shoot very long pieces and be directing him uh, without having to stop every time. It makes our life easier with the safety dogs looking after them. They don't have to worry about them so much within their breath holds because they know that their comfort level was high. It was scary and impressive just as a bystander because he might have done a one and a half minute long take, but what you really had to appreciate is that he has to hold his breath, wait for everyone to get into position, wait for all the bubbles to clear, wait for the cameras to roll. Then he does a long take. And 
and then he has to wait for the divers to come back and give him air. But Tom is very good in the water, so he makes my job a lot easier. I think Rebecca was more of a neophyte to this, but she embraced it wholeheartedly, and she is a trooper. She did take after take, no complaining. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. You got that? Rebecca stripping, getting into the water. I am underwater strapped onto things, and for some reason, I actually don't even question it, I just do it. When Tom does something, I can do it. That's my motivation. Action. It's a very, very kind of claustrophobic, tense feeling you get when you realize they're trapped in this completely contained unit underwater. There's no way out. It's not only actually life-threatening, but it's exhausting. And he's doing it simply because he loves the idea that when this is eventually put into the movie, the audience will be holding their breath because he's holding his. There's no way that we ever could have pulled off that sequence without Rebecca and Tom having done the training and made that physical commitment. I have to say, it was really fascinating. I learned a lot about my body and how it works. And it was surprisingly challenging, more challenging than I ever anticipated. Thank you. It took everybody. Every single person here to really get this right. I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it.